Nin explains the rules of Gaelic handball. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponent. Gaelic handball is an Irish sport that is played similarly to other forms of handball played around the world, and can be played as singles or doubles. Players play using their hand instead of a racket, and they must play the ball by hitting it directly to the front wall. The rules of the game are similar to racquetball and squash, but confusingly, Gaelic handball is played in several variations, and I'll explain what these are later in the video. The game starts with a player serving the ball. To serve, a player must be behind the service line in the serving zone and bounce the ball onto the floor before hitting it. In general, you get two chances to serve legally. The ball must bounce behind the short line for a serve to be legal. The opponent must be five feet behind the short line during the serve. The ball may be hit with an open hand or clenched fist onto any of the walls, but you are only allowed to let the ball bounce on the floor once. If you let the ball bounce on the floor twice, your opponent wins a point. The idea of this game is to make it difficult or impossible for your opponent to play a good shot back, or to force an error out of your opponent. This exchange is known as a rally. In Gaelic handball, you can only score a point if you serve the ball. If the server wins the rally, they score one point and continues to serve. If the opposing player wins the rally, no point is scored, but that player then takes the next serve. Once you play a shot, you have to try and get out of the way of the ball and get out of the way of your opponent. The rules dictate that you must allow your opponent fair access to see and return the ball. If you try to get out of the way but couldn't, this is known as a dead ball hinder, and the point is replayed again. If you obstruct your opponent to deny them an opportunity to return the ball, your opponent will win the rally. This is known as an avoidable hinder. There are many other types of hinder shown in this diagram, but these are the most common that you'll need to know about. The first player to score 21 points wins the game, and Gaelic handball is usually played to the best of three games. The last game is only played to 11 points. The person who wins two games the fastest wins. So what are the variations? Gaelic handball is played as four different events depending on the court type. They include one wall. Internationally called wall ball, this is the most basic form of Gaelic handball and is the most popular variation of the game worldwide. It's played on a 34 foot long court and, as the name implies, it's played with one wall only, measuring 20 feet by 16 feet. Because there's no other walls, playing the ball can be more lateral, as there are no side or back walls to help you. This also means that you have to keep the ball within the dimensions of the court yourself. This version of handball is popular because it can be played almost anywhere, indoors or outdoors, so long as you have a solid wall to play against. 40-20 Sometimes called small alley, it's named that because of the dimensions of the court. Courts are 40 feet by 20 feet and the front wall is 20 feet squared. The court itself has four walls and this ensures that the ball is kept in play at all times. Players can use the side and back walls to help them play the ball. This is the most popular form of the game in Ireland and in the US, as this game is virtually identical to four-wall American handball. Players from both countries can adapt to each other's rule differences fairly easily. 60 by 30 Sometimes called Big Alley, it's also played with four walls, on a court that measures, you guessed it, 60 feet by 30 feet, with a front wall measuring 30 feet by 27 feet. Like 40-20, it's played with side and back walls, just on a bigger court. But unlike 40-20, there are two different events, hardball and softball. Playing with a different ball changes the tactics of the game, so this is reflected in the different events. Unlike one wall and 40-20, 60-30 is only contested in Ireland. That's pretty much it, but there's a few other things that you'll need to know before playing or watching Gaelic handball. For example, gloves and eye protection. Gloves are mandatory in almost all Gaelic handball events, mainly for safety reasons, but also because moisture from the player's hands will cause the ball to react adversely. 
therefore gloves must also be changed if it gets wet. Gloves can be optional for 60-30 events, but in general, players wear gloves anyway to protect their hands. Eye guards are mandatory in all events. Failure to ensure that you have the correct equipment results in a technical. Technical For equipment violations and more serious faults, a technical can be awarded against a player. This results in a one-point reduction from their score. Accruing three technicals in a game results in disqualification. Appeals During a rally, if a player feels that his opponent did not return the ball legally, they may appeal to the referee at the end of the rally, who will review the previous play. They must accept the decision of the appeal, even if they don't agree. American Handball So, what is the difference between Gaelic and American Handball? Honestly, very little. The American version is played identically to the sport of racquetball, just without the rackets, and it also has its own variations, one wall, three wall and four wall. In general, games are played to 15 points, but other than a few other minor differences, the game is almost the same. This explains why Gaelic and American handballers can play each other in different sports and adapt very well to each other's rules. If you found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy Gaelic Handball.